All right. This will probably be the last time we'll meet like this. Is everyone ready? Uh, um, can I say something? I know we have to take Nyx down, but if you think about it, that means we'll be getting rid of the Dark Hour. Ryoji-kun mentioned that if he dies, our memories will disappear too. So if we defeat Nyx, we might not remember any of this. All of our memories. That's true. Our experiences with the Dark Hour and our personas, we may lose them. But even if that happens, I want you all to know I won't forget you. Even if it robs us of all our memories together, I swear I'll still remember you all. <laughs> what do you mean, Yucatan? Of course we'll remember each other. I won't forget you either! Me neither. I as well. Don't worry. Even if you do forget about us, I'll remind you. Yeah, so don't worry about it. Thanks, everyone. Okay. In that case, let's promise to meet each other again after the battle. No matter what happens. Good idea. But where should we meet? I don't think it should be the dorm. We'll come back here anyways, if all goes well. Oh, right. Should we decide when we'll meet up, too? Yeah. It should be a special occasion. How about on graduation day for the third years? When the dark hour vanishes, our memories might not disappear right away. So we shouldn't plan to meet too soon after the battle. And there's no other day that'll have more significance to us. Wow. You're really smart, Yukari-san. Graduation day, huh? Well, that's easy enough to remember. Yeah, that sounds like our best bet. All right, let's do it. Now, where should we meet up? Ideally, a place where we can clearly see that peace has returned to the city. Some place with a good view, then? Um... Oh, how about the school roof? Ah, nice idea. All right, the roof it is. Remember how you all feel right now. No matter what happens, we'll keep our eyes on the future. We're not going to forget anything. And we will see each other again. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Excited, aren't you? All right then, let's get going. Yeah. Together. I'll do my best. Don't let us down. This will be easy. Yes.
Let's do the best we can. January 31st. Had we more time, we could have been better prepared. There's our way up! So, you came after all. You, where's your partner? The Kaya went on ahead of me. He's destined for far greater heights than someone like myself. So, if you guys are here, that means you're serious about fighting Nyx. How do you know about Nyx? I just pieced together what information Ikutsuki left behind. <laughs> of course. A good chunk of it was just delusional nonsense. He was a real nut job. You knew Ikutsuki? Oh yeah, so he was your boss, huh? It was a big surprise finding that out. And that said, we only really knew his name. He was just one of the researchers who created us. He created you? Who exactly are you? <laughs> What's the point in telling you? It'll all be over soon. We don't have time for this. Step aside. Sorry, no can do. There's no way Nyx could be stopped by the likes of you. But I ain't about to let you get into Kaya's way. Do you even understand what you're saying? If we don't stop Nyx, all life will be destroyed. That's the point! He ain't gonna live much longer either way. 
So we gotta see it through to the end. This is Takaya's wish. So I'm not backing down. But... Uh, all right. I think that's enough talking. Time to get serious. Let's do this. However it turns out, this is the end. I'm going all out. Takaya's level, but I've improved since we last fought. You can't hide your weaknesses from me. Come on, let's see your weakness. Give it up already. Were you trying to hit me? What to do? the trick. who came prepared. Watch this. Now you see what I can really do. Here's a special treat just for you. What is I clear?
I move to strike. How about the trick? Keep it together. Now! Thank I you. I appreciate it. You're not beating me. I'll die before I let you pass. Performance enhancing drops? At that concentration, the side effects must be. He just doesn't give up. I failed. <laughs> oh, what are you waiting for? Finish me off! I would do anything for Takaya. Why are you so devoted to him? <laughs> he wouldn't understand. Takaya showed me the light when I was in the darkness. I forget how many years it's been. It was before I knew about the Dark Hour, or having the potential, or any of that. The Kirijo group rounded up orphans from all over, and tried to awaken personas in them. Their goal was to investigate Tartarus. What? But when a persona doesn't emerge naturally, it's difficult to control. So, kids had to take these experimental drugs so their personas wouldn't kill them. Only three kids out of the original hundred survived. And after six months, the experiment was cancelled. No. So, those three survivors were... So you've all suffered at the hands of the Kirijo group as well. Takaya saved me from it all. I'll never forget what he told me. Don't be bound by the past. And don't look to the future. Simply live in the moment. Honestly, I don't even give a damn about Kirijo anymore. But I'm gonna fulfill Takaya's wish, no matter what. But 
you. We overstayed our welcome. We're running out of time. Everyone, head up. But what about him? I don't need your pity, dumbass. And this was all for nothing. Got it. Damn it. <sighs> Let's go, I guess. <laughs> Look at these ugly clouds. Crawling up in droves. <laughs> You're not eating me. I ain't going out on your terms. I believe in you, Takaya. Fulfill our wish. I'll hold on to the freedom you gave me to the very end. Complete. Moving out. There's a treasure chest over there. This time for sure. We'll put an end to Tartarus and... Looks like that one will be tough to beat. where the stairs were. Let's be off then. This is the 261st floor. I see a chest over there. So, 
Just ahead of here is the top. <laughs> I take it you've defeated Jin. You are quite a troublesome bunch. Even in these final moments, you still insist on fighting. Why struggle against the inevitable end? Sorry to disappoint. Nothing's gonna end. Not if we have anything to say about it. Cease your petty resistance. Why not celebrate this wonderful moment instead? I'm not opposed to seeing this world off in your company. Will you shut up already? We are not letting that happen. Got it? My life was stolen from me. And in its place, I was given a power I never asked for. And so, I learned that the future is only a delusion. Only by striving to live every moment to its fullest can the soul truly be satisfied. That is why we welcome this glorious revelation to shine a light upon this darkened world. I've had enough of your shit! I'm not dying, so you can have a friggin' nightlight! This is not merely my own desire. Many of my disciples have gathered to rejoice in her arrival. That's just because Nyx is causing all these strange incidents. I'm afraid you have that backwards. Consider for a moment. Who is responsible for reviving Nyx? Can a single person boast of this great accomplishment? You all worked tirelessly to prevent it, and yet instead, you unwittingly aided in her coming. So you see, this is not just my will. It is the will of all people. People cannot face death without first finding meaning in life. But the world has realized that any meaning in it was lost long ago. Nyx has come because humanity has cried out for her salvation. No way. I don't believe you. Who would ever wish for Nyx to come? No. There is some truth in what he says. I guess. Wandering without purpose. Living an empty life. Dying an empty death. Passing your days without suffering. I don't know if this can be called right or wrong. But personally, I wouldn't want to live that way. I want a purpose, and to have others I care about. That's why I came all this way. To me, this is what it means to live. We're not alone. On our own, we may be helpless. But together, we can achieve the impossible. This is what you lack. That's why you see the fall as salvation. In choosing solitude over bonds with others, you limit your own power. So a Kirijo, responsible for robbing us of our future, would dare to speak of our limits? <laughs> How laughable! Then again, I should have known better. This is just the kind of bigotry I would expect from the ones who labeled me a failure. <laughs> However, fate has chosen us. Very well, then. If you insist on proving your superiority, I shall do the same. Either way, your efforts are in vain. Nyx's arrival is but moments away. <laughs> <laughs> you needn't hurry. The moment we await is predestined. It makes no difference whether it comes sooner or later. Ooh, be careful! I sense an even greater power than what before! To do? This isn't about revenge. We're fighting to protect something! 
I can feel it. The end of everything. I pity those who cannot see the blessing it truly is. We are mere mortals. We cannot change our fate. Out of my way! Where are you aiming? Huh? What is it that you see before you now? Oh, that's truly ridiculous. How absurd. I can't bear to watch you all. Death to all fools. The moment we await is upon us. Let's 
Use this and regroup. Thanks. I'm okay. Come on, I'm building momentum. And now. We are destined to be at odds. How can you summon such power even in the face of death? Incorrigible as always. Out of my way! Chosen me. This again. Is my resolve still not strong enough? If so, I'll throw away my trivial pride. With my entire being, I will bring you to your knees.
There's nothing more I can do. No. Kill me. Are you scared? What a peculiar question. You must be a stranger to death if you think it is something to fear. What do you mean? You fear it because you do not understand it. I have lived long enough. I have nothing more to say. We have no interest in taking the life of someone who can't even move. You will live to see if what you wished for comes true or not. Yeah, stay right there and think about what you've done. <laughs> what a truly baffling group you are. We're finally here. Up ahead is the summit of Tartarus, the promised place Ryoji mentioned. Let's regroup for the final battle. So this is the top. Look at that! In the sky!
you. <laughs> Ryoji-kun. That was my name for a time. I almost miss it. What's going on? Wait, could you be... I am merely a harbinger of the fall. Or perhaps I should say, former harbinger. There is no longer a distinction to be made between Nyx and myself. I see. So this is your purpose. Still, I don't regret my decision. We're taking you down no matter what you are! I see. Then you must already understand. What people fear the most. What they try to turn away from. That is the wretched thing I have become. We know that. Yeah. We're ready. It's the one absolute for all living things. Then, you must also understand that it is futile to resist. Will you still face me? Surely, there must be fear in your hearts. Yeah, of course I'm scared, but who gives a shit? I've got too much to live for! I'm sick of running away! Living means looking death square in the face! So I won't back down! Not even from you! Even if I have to sacrifice myself, I will stop you! This is my choice! I see. Get ready, everyone! Nyx is attacking! I'm also sensing multiple shadows approaching from the lower floors! Stand by, team! Intercept those shadows! This is the final battle. Victory at all costs! man devoured the fruit of knowledge, he sealed his fate. Entrusting his future to the cards, he clings to a dim hope. Yes, the Arcana is the means by which all is revealed. Attaining one's dream requires a stern will and unfailing determination. Go! 
wrong, you've done it. Kirinja Senpai's back on her feet! I'm ready. Artemis is out! The Arcana is the means by which all is revealed. The silent voice within one's heart whispers the most profound wisdom. Stop now. Suck on that! The Arcana is the means by which all is revealed. Celebrate life's grandeur, its brilliance, its magnificence. Give them hell. the means by which all is revealed. Only courage in the face of doubt can lead one to the answer. The 
Arcana is the means by which all is revealed. It is indeed a precious gift to understand the forces that guide oneself. is the means by which all is revealed. There is both joy and wonder in coming to understand the hearts of others. is the means by which all is revealed. One of the greatest blessings attained from the gift of life is the freedom to pursue one's personal goals.
Do the trick. as the means by which all is revealed to find the one true path one must seek guidance amidst uncertainty the means by which all is revealed. It requires great courage to look within oneself and forge one's own path. the means by which all is revealed. Ever present alongside time is fortune, cruel and unflinching. Did 
do. the means by which all is revealed. One needs strength to endure and rise above suffering and torment. Arcana is the means by which all is revealed. In the face of unavoidable disaster, lies the opportunity to search for redemption.
Man devoured the fruits of knowledge. He sealed his fate. Entrusting his future to the cards, man clings to a dim hope. Yet the Arcana is the means by which all is revealed. Beyond the journey you have taken lies the absolute end. It matters not who you are. One thing is always certain, death awaits all. desire well i already know the answer very well let us continue until the world meets its end i am with you to the very end stay strong everyone shall i move to strike to die. They are one and the same. The time has come. The hero never gives up. I'll go with it. Not that. Juno, hear me. Please help them. Accept it. 
to do. Did we do it? Such a pity. You understand your fate, yet you still fight against it with all your might. If only there were more like you, then perhaps the fall could have been prevented. But it's too late now.
You! Oh, marvelous! I can't believe the moment has finally arrived! Shut up! What are we gonna do? That's right. Like Fuka was when she saved me. I'm the one who said we're always connected. That's how I know you're still hanging in there, Fuka. I'm scared as hell right now. But I know I can't give up. Right, Fuka? What's going on? Man, what am I gonna do? Is that coming from the school? Uh, are we in the afterlife, dear? Uh, I have no idea. What the heck is going on? Uh, what's going on? Why is the world suddenly declaring an emergency? Someone's gonna have to pay big for this one! I guess all I can do is believe in them. Don't die out there. There's no need to worry. This isn't the afterlife. You're still very much alive. Do you remember what I once told you? How the strength of your social links will determine your potential. Listen. Can you hear their many voices? Each one's power is faint, yet they all reach out to you. Can you feel them? Close your eyes and listen. Their voices may be faint, but you hear them, don't you? I'll always have your back. All I can do right now is pray, but whatever it is, man, don't worry about a thing. I know you can do it. Something frightful is going on, but we're not giving up. That's right, dear. We have to be strong for him. Something crazy's going on here. But I know you're out there doing all you can. 
I'm not gonna lose hope. I learned that from you. I know you're trying to stay focused. You were there when I needed you. I hope I can do the same. Everyone else is scared, but not me. You showed me how to be tough. I won't give up. What on earth made me think of you at a time like this? Well, I suppose you did teach me a thing or two about trust. You were the one who taught me that running away never solves nothing. And I bet you're somewhere out there fighting the good fight right now. Well, I'm here for you too, kid. I'll take on any challenge that comes my way without passing blame. You taught me that. I bet you're fighting right now too, huh? You saved me. I was so blind before. I'm sure you've got things under control, right? You always do. I know I'm not the only one who suffered. You've endured a lot too. But you can't just give up. You taught me that. Can you hear them? These are the voices of hope that wish to help you. Separately, they are weak. But together, they will bring about a great change in you. Now is the time to draw on the true strength of the bonds you have forged. I never dreamed of seeing that card with my own eyes. This is indeed a surprise. Behold. The greatest power that you and I shall unveil. It is the power to bring about a new beginning, or the ultimate end. With this newfound power, it might now be possible. Perhaps you can save those you hold dear from that which cannot be defeated. What you have in your hands is the power of the universe. Nothing is outside the realm of possibility for you now. We will soon reach your destination. It seems that in addition to death, fate has also dealt you the wild card. You must accept your destiny. Our contract has been fulfilled. I have completed my role as well. You were truly a most remarkable guest. by yourself. No, don't go! <laughs> no, Pete! What are you doing? Damn it! Why? Why the hell can't we get up? Don't do this! We've already come so far together! God damn it!
Don't give up. We're gonna get through this together. <laughs> give him strength. Take my life if you must. We... Did Nyx create this place? Or was it him? Yamagishi, is he all right? What happened? Everything disappeared after being covered in that light. I don't sense anything now. Don't tell me he... What the hell are you saying? That's impossible! Try again! Be the only one. <laughs> Away. Damn it! Not again. We put our lives on the line just like he did. In fact, we came here expecting to die. So why only him? Why am I so powerless? Am I really unable to protect the ones important to me? This is what I was trying to prevent. again peace will return to this universe for you and for him <gasps> he's found the answer to life's greatest question it just happened a bit sooner than it will for the rest of you life's greatest question i guess you'll find the answer one day as well your life, too, is precious. Irreplaceable. You just need to realize how the bonds of friendship have changed you. The bonds of friendship. The dark hour will soon vanish from this world. You will truly be liberated from its dominion. The legacy of life will continue. Congratulations. You have the miracle you sought. May we meet again, someday. Now we're... How 
did we end up back? Hey, look over there! Whoa, uh, what's up with Tartarus? Finally happening. Everything's going back to normal. Our job is done. Wait, is that? This isn't the time to be crying. <laughs> You're crying too, Sonata-san. Finally, the team's all here. <laughs> Leader. Huh? I'm... Oh no, they won't stop. What's wrong with me? Yo! Damn, it's cold. But of course, you never miss a day of school, huh? I'm impressed. Man, this year really flew by. We're practically 30 years now. Only one more year of high school. You think there's anything interesting on the horizon? Huh. You think so? Looking at the current third years? I'm not really sure. Pretty much all they do is freaking study. Sure doesn't look like fun to me. Is that what we're gonna turn into next year? Man, why do I feel like I'm forgetting something? <sighs> hey, is that girl looking at us? Dude, she's pretty cute! How come I never noticed her before? What are you talking about? She lives in the same dorm as us. Wait, she does? Uh, what's her name then? I don't know. Sheesh, then you barely know more than me. Anyway, it's always crazy in the dorms this time of year. Oh, with so many people coming and going. Oh yeah, did you hear? Sonata Senpai's moving out. You know him, right? He's the captain of the boxing team. Yeah, not that I really talked to him. And obviously all the graduates are leaving. Kirijo Senpai's getting ready to move too. Kirijo. Oh, the student council president. Uh, she's in our dorm too, huh? Man, what's up with that girl? Hey there! Are you looking at us? Is something wrong? Oh, no. It's nothing. She looked like she had something on her mind, huh? Wait, you think she might be interested in one of us? <laughs> Not a chance. Man, you really know how to hit a guy where it hurts. By the way, Yucatan. Uh, yeah, never mind. Uh, forget it. What? Just say it. Now it's gonna bother me. Well, Dad, uh, do you remember how we became friends? I mean, don't take it the wrong way. I was just wondering. Well, it's not like we're best friends or anything, but I guess it just kind of happened. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. You know what's weird, though? 
I think I get what you mean. I can't really explain it, but something just feels off. Now that I think about it, that girl... Ah, oh, crap! Grab a bite at Hagakure? I haven't had their special in a while. We hold up! I ain't made out of money. I'm just a poor, broke high school kid here. Come on, man. We're buds, right? We even bonded while playing catch and everything, right? Yeah, I guess we never actually got around to that, huh? Oh, hey. Did you hear from Tomochika about the new teachers coming in April? Apparently they're all women. You have no idea how stoked he was. Honestly, I was getting major secondhand embarrassment. Well, none of that really matters to me. I already got a special some woman. Huh? Uh, I did have a special someone. Right? Uh, I I'm not making this up or anything. I'm gonna tell such a pathetic lie to try and look cool. I just thought that, that there was someone special in my life. Have I forgotten something important? Something? Uh, sorry, man. I, I think I'll pass on the ramen, actually. It's quite rare for us to bump into each other here, isn't it? Nothing much. Just felt like looking around the school, that's all. After all, this is my last day here. The days flew by in the blink of an eye. But at the same time, it felt like this year would last for an eternity. I've dedicated all three years of high school to boxing, and nothing else. Hmm. Was there really nothing else? It, never mind. It's nothing. I guess hanging out with everyone at the dorm counts as something. We even made pancakes together. We had some good times. If we hadn't lived in the same dorm, we might have never met each other. It's hard to imagine. <laughs> I'll be leaving the dorm soon. But that doesn't change the fact that I'll always be your senpai. If you ever run into trouble, you can tag me in. Whatever happens, I'm on your side. found you. It was kind of nerve-wracking to come to the high school campus all by myself. Anyway, I'm here to drop off something Sonata-san forgot. He's usually so put together, but sometimes he can be just a little scatterbrained. <laughs> oh, speaking of forgetfulness, 
Do you remember someone named Aragaki-san? He was at the dorm for a little while. I didn't really talk with him all that much. But whenever he crosses my mind, I feel this ache in my chest. And unbearably sad. It's as if I've forgotten something important. Though, I'm not sure what. I get the feeling that there was something I had to do. I just don't know what it is or why I feel this way. Oh, um, sorry about that. You're really easy to talk to, so I kept going on and on. I appreciate that you always listen to what I have to say, though, Senpai. You even went to the movies with me. And you don't treat me like I'm just a little kid. So, um, thanks for everything. Coming up next, a special report on the Amazing Commodities Corporation, producer of Tanaka's Amazing Commodities. President Tanaka has made an undisclosed private expenditure that caused quite a stir in the media. With us is our reporter live on scene. Take it away. I'm reporting from the Amazing Commodities head office where a swarm of journalists has convened. Word has it that President Tanaka will be coming out shortly to make a statement. The tension in the air is thick. Thank you. We'll be looking forward to updates as things unfold. Back to the studio. The unaccounted for expenditure has sparked a massive investigation. Some theorize he is guilty of tax evasion. Oh, no question. This is President Tanaka we're talking about. All he cares about is lining his own pockets. And he does it by swindling his own viewers. He could become the richest man on the planet and still never be satisfied. Why doesn't he donate some of that money for a change? Damn Scrooge. W well, I'm sure he's not as bad as all that. Oh, this just in. Something's happened at the scene. President Tanaka has emerged. <laughs> he's carrying a microphone. It, it looks like he's about to sing. Ready to go in your TV. Tanaka's commodities. Everybody's ultimate friend in greed. Hi, everyone! Amazing Commodities is here for you year-round! Rain or shine! We have a monopoly on the cheapest, highest quality goods! Our customers shout for joy so loud it's considered noise pollution! Our stocks rise so high they're a hazard to birds! And we make losers every day out of people who don't buy! We're the only miracle left in this sad, desolate world! That's the Amazing Commodities Guarantee! We look forward to your business! Oh, he he's gone. What the hell are you doing? You call yourself a reporter? If you can't get one lousy comment out of him, you're just giving him free advertising! We'll have to interrupt you there, as we've just received a fax. It... it's from President Tanaka. The message reads... Hi, this is Tanaka, the best friend your pocketbook ever had. And what's in my pocketbook is my own business. It's not my company's money, so what's it to them how I use it? But let me make one thing clear. I am not ashamed of a single thing. My conscience is clear, dear viewers, so buy my products, guilt-free. Amazing Commodities, here for you year-round, rain or shine. 
Buy now, or you'll miss your chance. You'll see. Bye bye Apparently, he had no intention of revealing his use for the funds. Does he have no shame? Oh, this Tanaka guy. Just because he's made some money for himself doesn't mean that we're his little playthings. On behalf of the people, I have something to say, and I am not afraid to say it. Fat pigs like him who gorge themselves on the excesses of capitalism should be... Yes, thank you very much. This concludes our special report. With no clues as to the utilization of said funds, we can only hope that they went to humanitarian purposes. Next up, your daily glimpse into the stock market. This just in. We have reports that Amazing Commodities stocks have suddenly skyrocketed. It's me, I guess. May I please come in? Thank goodness. I'm so happy to see you again. I'm sorry to show up so suddenly, but I really needed to talk to you. remember everything. It seems like everyone else has forgotten. But I remember. That day we... I'm sorry. It's just that when I remembered, I was afraid you might go somewhere far away. Like you did during the last battle. Today is graduation day, isn't it? I'm sorry. The ceremony's already begun. The weather is so nice outside. Do you remember where we all promised to meet? Why don't we go ahead and wait for the others? We can enjoy the peaceful view of the city. The time to part has finally come. Though this is our last day together. We want the third year class to know that we're truly proud of you. We wish each of you good health, happiness, and success. On this momentous occasion, I bid you all a fond farewell on behalf of the student body. Next, a word from the valedictorian. From Class D, Mitsuru Kirijo-san. Thank you. This past year, I accepted an important responsibility as student council president. When I first addressed you from this podium, I spoke to you all about seizing opportunity while you had the chance. It must have been fate that intervened and gave me an important reminder of this. As many of you know, my father unexpectedly... He unexpectedly passed away due to sudden illness. Sudden illness? Wow, that's rare. I've never heard her stumble in a speech before. 
It's a big day. It must be tough to talk about her father. I remember now. That's right. After my father died. There was a time I lost motivation to live my life. Am I forgetting something? Hmm? Not a senpai. What are you doing, <laughs> Gurumaru? I... But no longer. I shall honor my father's will. I won't run from the future. I'll face it head on. Not a single doubt remains in my mind. And the reason. <laughs> Our promise. Mitsuru. That's right. It's because I have forged such wonderful friendships. And we swore that we would never lose hope, no matter what the future may bring. Senpai, we remembered him, and I guess. Yes, I did as well. Let's go. They're waiting. Noticing the beauty of spring, it's wonderful. And yet, without exception, each and every season will come to an end. We fought side by side. We faced the world's end. And now, I'm finally beginning to understand what it was I'd been searching for. I always wondered what it really meant to live. Now I think it's following your heart, fighting for what you can change, and accepting the things you can't. Nothing on this earth lasts forever. Every life will one day fizzle out. That holds true for all of us, and as soon as you come to terms with it, you realize something. You see what really matters. And find out what it is that gives your life meaning. When I learned that I wasn't strong enough, I was tormented by it. Now I understand why. Protecting others is the duty I was given. But to me, it was more than an obligation. At some point, it became something I wanted to do for myself. Once I decided to try and prevent the fall, something inside me clicked. When I thought about how I might never see you again, that's when I first understood what mattered to me the most. And so, I made up my mind. What I want is to protect you from now until the end of time. I want to stay by your side. And I know I'm not the only one out there who could do this. But still, I want to. Because I'm positive. If I do it for you, then nothing's a waste. My life will have meaning. So, thank you. <laughs> so 
sorry. What's gotten into me? It's good. I finally found a reason to live. So why am I... through thick and thin. Not everything needs to be for some greater purpose. Just caring about someone can be enough. That's all we need to give our lives meaning. As for me, I found my path. And that's to protect you with my life. Thank you so much for everything. You must be tired. Go ahead and rest now. I'll be right here. I won't be going anywhere. In a moment, the others will be joining us. you forevermore.